In a process automation solution, interlocks frequently must be designed to protect either devices, the process, plant, and or personnel. These interlock conditions can sometimes be more complex than a single logic operation and may require some timing functions. While the APL offers a standard interlock function block, it's limited to a single Boolean logic operation. The industry library is an extension of the PCS7 advanced process library and offers two enhanced interlocking capabilities implemented as a 4x3 and an 8x4 function block. These function blocks help simplify the engineering process and automatically generate the HMI visualization, only saving time and effort. Like the APL version function blocks, we can open the faceplate of the iLock 4x3 and quickly identify what condition has restricted us from starting our pump. Here we can see the three levels of logic evaluation. We can also navigate upstream in the logic to the valve that must be open to allow the pump to start. The 4x3 function block supports a number of timing operations such as delay on, off, and pulse functions. Opening the valve allows the pump to start after the pre-engineered delay time. When a trip occurs, the 4x3 captures the first in, crucial in determining which condition failed first. Operators so authorized can clear the first in from the extended faceplate. We can also see detailed information such as analog values associated with the trip conditions, for example, the level in the reactor, and labels for the Boolean conditions, like YV2200 is closed. Often the trip condition is a fault in the circuit rather than the actual device being in the wrong state. Consider a feedback open wire break versus the valve actually not being opened. At times like these, we may want to bypass the entire condition. The 4x3 offers both permanent and temporary bypass functions. Engineered times are configured for temporary bypassing, for example, 10 minutes or an entire shift. This can be used to ensure that the bypass is automatically removed following a maintenance operation, such as repairing a feedback open switch. If the trip condition exists when the timer expires, the interlock will be imposed and the device will be driven to its safe state. If an operator is given sufficient rights and the design allows, they may restart the timer. Of course, time to bypasses can be removed at any time prior to expiration. If you'd like to learn more about this and other function blocks in the industry library, go to the Siemens Industry Online Support site and search Industry Library. The Siemens Industry Library is a set of special blocks for specific industries. One of the things we like about the industry library is the 4x3 interlock block. It allows us to do a little bit more complex interlocking, and it also has a timed interlock feature for bypassing that allows you to have a bypass work for a certain period of time, a predefined time so that you can get through a transfer or you can finish a shift and then maintenance can go back and fix that item without having to remember they have to unbypass an interlock. One of the biggest issues I see is people leave interlocks on. And so if you can have a time feature where it automatically turns off, it reminds the next shift or reminds the next operator that they need to fix this issue, but not during a process, when they're running the process.